Hi, it's Holly Homer, and um, I'm really sorry if you've been following along. This is the third time I've started this, and um, I'm hoping it's the you know third time is a charm. So anyway, today I want to talk to you about some Facebook insights and what I look for um, when I'm trying to keep my page um, momentum going. And we'll talk about momentum in a minute because I think that's really the key to the Facebook page. Um, if you've been watching over the last few weeks, um, and if you haven't, like why not? Um, but anyway, you know that um, last week we really talked about um, creating a page that you're proud of. Like, it doesn't matter what the stats say. You really want to create that page that you want to hang out on because that's the only way it's going to last long term. And then in turn, it's going to attract the type of um, fans um, or likes that are going to be beneficial to keeping this momentum as we go along. So if you're following along with what we talked about last week, you're not even going to be looking at these stats yet. But I wanted to kind of show you what I look at um, when I do look at stats so that when you do get to the point where you're ready to open it up, you can look. So anyway, I'm going to screen share here, and um, then, and I'm going to, oh goodness, where did my screen, oh my gosh, <laughs> let me see if I can find, <laughs> I'm going to try not to panic at this moment, <laughs> yay, I found it, mm. all right, we're going to look at my Facebook page. And um, it is um, the Facebook page for Kids Activities blog is called QuirkyMama.com or Facebook slash QuirkyMama with Mama being M-O-M-M-A. -M -M -A. And um, now I'm scared to change it because we're having such good success. But um, so what you'll see here is um, when you're a manager of a page, you're going to see the admin panel above your um, cover photo. And I always go to just click the um, check out the page. Um, I have to remember not to do it on what we're looking at. The check out the page insights. Um, and here you're going to see some of the kind of um, summary graphs and then the top five posts or your most recent five posts. So let's take a look at, and this is where I go first is the posts. And you can either click the see all posts there or you can click on the post page. It actually shows you exactly the same thing. So, and this is what I want to talk about first. Um, one of the things, and this is really obvious, so like if you've been thinking about this, then um, I'm really sorry, just put me on mute for a few minutes. But um, one of the things that really frustrated me at first when we started really working on the Facebook page was that um, like so few of my actual fans were seeing the post. And um, no matter what it was, like even with a really, really great post, it was just reaching a fraction of those people. And then I opened up like how many people are online at any given time and realized that, oh my gosh, like, you know, like for instance, we have um, 82 or 83,000 fans, but at any given time, there is never a time when more than 30,000 of them are, are online at it at once. So if you think about it, if I post a, um, if I post something at midnight, the maximum, like even if a hundred percent of those people were like looking at their stream and all that kind of stuff, the only, the maximum would be um, 19,344 that could actually see that post. So when you start looking at like kind of the reality of how many people are on at any one given time, that's going to give you a little bit more, um, I don't know, peace of mind that you know, like let's say you, you post something that actually reaches 20,000 people and that can happen because it's um, because of its longevity or because it um, has that momentum, um, then you can feel really, really good about that because it is reaching, you know, more than, than that number that was there at any given time. So, so let's, that's kind of a reality check where you want to kind of take it back and say, you know, even if I have like the most successful post in all of Facebook, <laughs> and, and you get, like it's going to take a while to get past that 19,000, even if 100% um, get to see it. So um, the next thing I do is I just scroll down and look at um, kind of these orange bars. And um, right now, because um, I have two goals for my Facebook page right now, number one is just to grow it. Um, I want to get to a, a bigger number um, over the next um, few months before um, Rachel and I's book come out in the spring. So that's like our number one thing. So we are going to do anything in our power to um, increase engagement because engagement um, 
also pushes likes to our page. And then the second, um, the second and the really the long-term goal for my Facebook page is to drive traffic to the website. Because um, primarily my income at Kids Activities Blog is passive income, the more people that go to visit the, um, the site, the more money I make, which is a good thing. And um, so in the long scheme of things, like if I'm not creating a, a fan base on my Facebook page that is driving traffic to my, um, my website, I'm failing. And so um, that's one of the reasons why we make sure that we post um, two to three um, links or pictures with links embedded into um, each of our each day so that because that the primary thing we want front and center of our Facebook page is um, our website now the other thing that has been really really fun is to share other people's stuff because that's gonna also drive that's gonna help drive traffic to our Facebook page make it more um, make it larger and um, we get the engagement from that and then other bloggers get the traffic which is awesome too so let's look at the most recent when you click on a post um, this is what is really fun when you click on a post you this is I, I could just like I'm a Google Analytics nerd I could just look at my Google Analytics and different things all day so this is really fun because there's lots of stuff in here so let's look at this is the most recent post um, paper plate crafts um, 10 paper plate crafts and so you can see how I set that up um, with some sort of heading um, since we're not on Google Plus we can't bold and italicize which I really miss but um, I do a similar format to a Google Plus um, Google Plus post where I do kind of a heading, the link, and then some chatty stuff. And you really want, um, just FYI, um, you want some chatty stuff and you want um, a good amount of it because you want that read more click thing to be up on the um, inside your post because if somebody clicks the read more, it's going to be an action on that post. So, um, and any action on that post, Facebook rewards by showing it to more people. So, um, you can see here um, that it's reached 19,000 people and it has 449 likes and 186 of those are from my page. And then um, there's other likes from other pages and that's awesome. Um, and that um, comments on other shares and others likes and then this is really you know what I was talking about the post clicks so 614 people acted on the photo so they clicked to see either the read more or the or to look at the photo and then 138 of those people went to the actual post which is awesome and then 228 um, that could be the see more button and that's what I'm talking about so that's one of the reasons why you want to give as people as m that's why I like the chatty stuff at the end you want to give people as many ways to interact with your post as possible and because that's going to tell Facebook that they're engaged with you so as we go down this list what I would do is just look at these like the really wide orange bars and then look at what 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 was that about that post that was really engaging to people so like let's look at this one this is one um, oh actually let's look at this one this one's from yesterday and that was a paper plate crafts okay oh crap um, Facebook's not showing this right now but anyway um so this is where I got the idea, hint, hint, that people on my page were really liking the paper plate crafts and we write kids activities blogs so we have lots and lots of paper plate crafts. So because this posted really, really well yesterday, because it was my biggest orange bar, see that for the day, um, except that one that one was bigger but um, so that's why I posted it again today and I didn't post the same post I posted a related post um, I'm not I don't have a problem with posting the same post I would wait a few more days I wouldn't do it right right um, like the next day now this one's a really interesting one because this I knew this was gonna do really well um, this was our highest one yesterday and it was the exploding heart activity because look at that photo it's amazing it's from another um, blogger um, let them be little blog 
and um, she shared it on our Facebook page and then um, I um, went ahead and grabbed the photo with her permission and shared it with the link because I saw that photo and I knew it was going to do really well with our audience and as you can see over 77,000 people saw that um, within the last two days and that's what's been really cool about the momentum of these posts is yes we have 80,000 um, followers but um, none of they're not all online at the same time and some of when we're reaching people beyond our followers because the posts have a longevity and if we looked back at this post tomorrow or the next day um, we would see that number grow slightly um, it obviously the first day and the first few hours actually is where you get the most push but but I will see the long tail on this um, post will probably be um, I would say another two days that she'll be getting a little bit of traffic here and there and I wish you could see the post links I don't know why Facebook is malfunctioning right now because um, she's seen a lot of traffic from this um, and and um, which is really sweet she sent me a little note so anyway that's what I look with on um, under the posts and then the other thing I look at really quickly is the likes and um, this is the likes on your page and so what Facebook will do is tell you where those people came from. And this is super important information um, if you're trying to grow your page. And it is loading. This is so crazy. I'm going <clears> to... <throat> so here, while that's loading, I'll let you look at me. <laughs> so anyway, um... So I'm going to draw the graph since it's not loading. Um, the graph in Facebook with the likes is really cool because it will show you exactly where your likes are coming from. And what it will do is it will show you, like if you are on um, the page suggestions, it will say, oh, yeah, three, we suggested your page 300. Well, actually, we've suggested your page more than 300 times, but 300 people took, took us up on it. And so, and what we have found, if you look at that bar graph of when they suggested you and when you got your likes, is I found that it's almost 50%. Like if you are getting 300 likes a day from somewhere else or two likes a day from somewhere else, then often they're going to show you kind of like a matching game. So um, like there was a day that we had a really big day where we sent a lot of traffic to our Facebook page with likes and the next few days we were rewarded with Facebook showing us more often in the suggested box. And that's the other thing that I've noticed and I've had some conversations with other bloggers about is you might want to take a look at what category your blog is um, in Facebook because that's going to determine what Facebook thinks um, like what other pages it's going to show in the suggested box and you want to hit that suggested box it's a really easy way to pick up some likes and so make sure that you go around and look at other blog pages that might be in your same um, genre and see what they've categorized their blog as. Um, our blog is categorized as kids and teens um, which is kind of funny because I don't think many teens would be like hanging out at our page but that's really the only category we could find but it's done really well for us like it's um, a lot of the other suggested pages when I visit our page um, are are, um, are good ones like they're ones that are within that same genre so um, so I would look at that um, number one is look at your categorization um, make sure it fits your blog um, and see you know the other thing that I was thinking about is if it's if you have your blog as a personal website if that's your categorization you may have a ton of competition for that suggested box when you think about it like anybody with a blog could be in that um, category so you might want to see if you could um, create you know find one that fits you a little bit more closely so you're not competing with I don't what is it like a um, billion blogs out there today so anyway and then you're gonna look at where you're getting your likes um, even if you're only getting a few a day that's fine um, and the cool thing is is like if you were to run a contest or something on or off Facebook that's gonna send Facebook send some more likes to your page um, Facebook watch that suggested um, thing suggested pie 
as well because you may see that go up as you like it's kind of like you contribute Facebook contributes um, so that's kind of cool and then um, really look at um, what of your posts have that really long wide orange box and how and then from there depending on you know if you're looking at just growth or um, at website growth and that kind of stuff look and see what posts are um, are getting the most interaction so anyway, um, if you have any questions, um, just leave them in the comments or um, of this event, or um, I will also be posting this on Business to Blog or Blog tomorrow on Monday. And um, and anytime you have questions, um, I would love to have those because um, I will answer them. <laughs> It'll give me something to talk about, um, so I don't have to like talk about the weather, which is kind of snowing in Texas. So anyway, all right. Well, I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later.